Stargate Nexus presents Welcome to Second Life, Learning Island, using the Firestorm Viewer previously downloaded on our Mac, part two of a tutorial series. In our last tutorial, we got you signed up to Second Life and signed in through the Firestorm Viewer on your Mac. This is where we left off, welcoming you to Second Life on Learning Island. This tutorial is going to walk through Learning Island. Learning Island was designed for the Second Life viewer on Windows. We're using the Firestorm viewer on Mac. So we're walking through and just showing you what the differences are on Second Life's prompts to when you're using Firestorm viewer and Mac. Oh, hold on. This is what it looks like when someone invites you to join a group. You get a little pop-up in the upper right hand corner which describes the group and then asks you to join, decline, or get more information. In this case we're going to decline, we don't want to join the newbie mafia. As I was saying, we're using the Firestorm viewer, which is why we see creating the bridge in the lower left hand corner. The bridge is created between our Firestorm viewer and Second Life our way of interacting with Second Life. Now, whether you're using the Second Life viewer or the Firestorm viewer, the WASD keys don't work when you're using Mac. Mac users will always use the arrow keys, the classic up, down, side to side arrow keys. As you can see, pressing the up key moves forward, pressing the down key moves backward, and pressing either side keys will turn your avatar's view. Second Life's tutorial tells us to walk up the stairs and then walk to the bridge. They even give us a big green arrow floating up and down to aim us in the right direction. We are walking our avatar towards this arrow simply by pressing on the up arrow key. If you press the up and side key together, you can move forward and in a direction. Like, say, to get in better alignment with the sign. Second Life's tutorial prompt changed as we were walking. It now reads, if you complete all the tasks here, you will be rewarded when you visit Social Island. Our first task on Learning Island is to master these movement keys. The obstacle course set before us will allow us to test out our ability to use the forward arrow key and the side to side arrow keys at the same time in order to turn smoothly. I highly recommend playing around at this stage and just seeing how your keys function and how you see the movement in your screen. Each computer may vary slightly in the response time. For those wondering why I paused, that was my effort to see if the little critter did anything. I was trying to click on it. It didn't. It's just a prop. We see that both Second Life prompts change as we get to the end, telling us we're at the end and to keep going because there's another task to learn. I personally appreciate, on behalf of those really new to being in a 3D environment, these really big green arrows that help point you in the right direction. Speeding along to task two. Task two is to master jumping while we move forward. For Mac users, instead of page up, we're using the function key while holding the up arrow. This will allow us to move forward and jump over the spaces. Don't worry if you miss a space and fall in, they do have stairs to help you get back to where you started. I'm not showing that in this tutorial because I think something should be left to mystery. Here we go. When you hold the function key and just tap the arrow, you'll notice your avatar jumps straight up. In order to jump in a forward motion, press function key and forward arrow together in a quick click and then resume holding your forward arrow. Let's try it. It may take a little bit of practice, but it's very easy. Forward arrow, release, forward arrow and function key together in a quick click and then resume forward arrow. Quick click, forward arrow and function key together in a quick click and then resume forward arrow. One more time in slow-mo sequence. Forward arrow, release, forward arrow and function key together in a quick click and then resume forward arrow. Resuming the forward arrow is what tells the function and forward arrow together jump to be a forward jump. Sheer muscle memory, it's easiest to learn by doing it. Speeding on to the next task. Flying! The prompt shows to hold page down or E to fly up the ramp. 
and to hold page down or C to fly down the ramp on the other side. However, none of those commands work on a Mac. So in order for us Mac users to fly, we hold down the function key while holding down the forward arrow key. That's right, you hold them down. Instead of tapping like we did to jump, we hold them both to fly. Just to be absolutely clear, holding the function key and either up or down arrow keys on the Mac is our page up and page down. If you try this prematurely, you'll notice that it doesn't work. And the reason for that is they've disabled flying until you get right up to the ramp. You can see that here, flying disabled. So we're not going to actually try it until we get close. As a quick reminder, you're holding the forward arrow to move towards the ramp, releasing the forward arrow, and then holding function key and forward arrow together, holding them to fly up. Once you release the function key again, your arrow keys become once more forward, backward, side to side, just up in the air. To land, we release our arrow keys, and then hold function key and the down arrow together until we get all the way to the ground. We're not fully landing here because we intend to fly down on the other side, but this is a great spot for you to practice your landing and taking off using the function and arrow keys. We use the forward arrow to get to the other side of the cliff, but because we're flying, our avatar won't just drop off the other end. We'll have to fly down by holding the function key and the down arrow together. I know I've really landed my avatar when the function key and down arrow makes my avatar crouch instead of flying down, and the forward arrow walks instead of flying forward. Running along to the next task. To run, double tap your forward arrow. This task masters camera movement. The prompt says you can use the keyboard and mouse to move your camera. Let's practice with the aquariums. Place your mouse pointer where you want to focus. For Mac users, instead of the Alt key, we'll be using the Option key. We will be using our Control key, like their Control key, and we just won't be using the Shift key. To zoom, you hold the Option key and use the scroll wheel on your mouse or the arrow keys on your keyboard. To tumble, you use the Option key and Control key plus the scrolling or moving of your mouse to tumble in any direction. For panning, like tumbling, we just need the Option key and Control key. The only difference between tumbling and panning is tumbling uses two arrow keys or directional movements at once and panning uses one arrow key or directional movements at once. Let's try it. Speeding right along. As we get into the aquarium we see that our prompt changes again. It now reads, when you have finished practicing with the camera controls walk through the door at the end of the hall to enter the courtyard. At the bottom it says, press escape to return to your normal camera view. It's just a reminder that no matter what you do with your camera, you can always go back to the usual position by pressing escape. Now, let's get to it. As you can see, when you hover your mouse over anything that you can look at, the mouse cursor becomes a little spyglass with a plus sign inside of it rather than an arrow. When you click, it zooms. Now your arrow keys and your mouse can pan to either side of the object that you clicked, all the way around the object, and up and down. As a side note reminder, without using any of the keys to assist, your side to side arrow keys will move side to side. Your up and down arrow keys will zoom in and out. If you have a standard mouse, your scroll wheel will zoom in and out as well. That's why we need the additional keys to tell the arrow keys or your mouse what else it can do. For vertical panning, or tumbling for that matter, you must hold the option key and the control key. We'll allow your mouse and arrow keys to vertically pan and tumble. I could spend several minutes showing you key by key demonstration, but it's better if you just try it. Just Go try it. The clicking and the zooming 
and the panning, vertical panning, and the tumbling, just all of it. Go try it. And when you're satisfied, you have a handle on it that you understand how the keys work with your mouse or arrow keys, then you're ready to move on to the courtyard. So go ahead and walk through the glowing white door. Head into the light. Welcome to the courtyard. Explore and enjoy as long as you like. I'm not going to show you the entire courtyard in this tutorial. I'm just going to show you a couple of basics before we close it out. As the sign says, you can now explore Learning Island. Press enter or the chat to talk with others. You can leave Learning Island through the portal in the middle. Not that one. Ah, there it is. Big ol' exit here. So look down here where I'm wiggling my mouse. This is your text field in the Firestorm viewer. It allows you to type and chat with folks without having any additional windows in your whole view. I just clicked the chat bubble next to the text field for those that missed it to get this window. If you head over here, you'll see that the nice folks at Second Life have set up a little prop for you to practice chatting with, even if there's nobody around. So go ahead and practice with the parrot. And when you're done chatting with the parrot and practicing how the chat works, either with your chat window or your text box, and when you're done exploring the rest of the courtyard, if that's something that you're interested in doing, then you're ready to go ahead and exit Learning Island and enter the next phase. Uh, but be warned, as it says, exit portal gate. You are about to leave the learning area. Forever! There is no return. That's right, no return. Once you leave here, you can never come back again, ever. So let's go. Where to? This portal will take you to Social Island, where you'll find optional tutorials, activities, and gateways to all of Second Life. Once you leave Learning Island, you can never come back. So be sure before you step through the door. We're going through. Ta-da! That's the end of this tutorial. Our next tutorial will pick up where this one leaves off and we will explore Social Island, the offered tasks and whatnot. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Cheers and namaste.